Ephesians chapter 6, starting at verse uh, 10, it says, Finally, brother, be strong in the Lord and the power of his might. You've got to be strong tonight. Put on the whole armor of God that he may be able to stand against the wells of the devil. For we wrestle not against flesh and blood, but principalities against powers, against the rulers of darkness of this world, against spiritual weaknesses in high places. Wherefore, take unto you the whole armor of God, that he may be able to withstand the evil day, and having done all to stand. Are you doing all to stand tonight? When the devil comes up against you, are you giving up, or are you giving all to stand? Stand therefore having your lines girt about you with truth, and having on the breastplate of righteousness, and your feet shun with preparation of the gospel of peace, above all taking the shield of faith, wherewith he shall be able to quench all the fiery darts of the wicked, and take the helmet of salvation and the sword of the Spirit, which is the word of God. Praying always for prayer and supplication in the Spirit, and watching thereunto, with all perseverance and supplication for all saints. And for me, that utterance may be given unto me, that I may open my mouth boldly to make known the mystery of the gospel, for which I am the bastard in bonds, that therein I speak boldly, as I ought to speak, but that he may also know my affairs as I do. Thus, a beloved brethren and faithful minister of the Lord, shall be known to you all things, whom I set unto you for the same purpose, that he may might know our affairs, and that he may be, might comfort our, your hearts. Peace be unto the brethren, and love with faith from God the Father and the Lord Jesus Christ. Grace be with you all that love our Lord Jesus Christ in all sincerity. Amen. You know, that's what my prayer is for each and every one of us tonight. That the grace be with all in the, our love of the Lord Jesus. That we may be able to withstand the fiery darts that come up against us. That we may be able to withstand the trials and temptations and the things that we face. That we may be able to stand when everybody else falls. Just be able to stand tonight and know that God is right there with you holding you up. You know, you may be going through things in your life right now. You may be going through many trials. You may be going through many tribulations. You may be facing many things, but know tonight that God is there with you. Know tonight that even in your darkest moments, He's right there. Just like I preached last night that we're under the hands of Him tonight. You know, that's what we're under tonight. We're always with Him. We're all, he's always with us. Even in our darkest moments when we feel like we're all alone, He is there. All we've got to do tonight is just depend upon Him and trust upon Him. And know tonight that with Him all things are possible. With man, things are impossible. With God, all things are possible. And we can make it tonight. Don't look at how big the mountain is, but look how big our God is. Don't look how big the storm is, but look how big our God is. You know, we need to get past the former things in our life, because former things in our life we cannot change anyways. The only thing we can change tonight is our future, our destiny. What God has in store for us is plan. You know, God has a plan for each and every one of our lives tonight. And only he, only he and you know what that plan is. But he wants to set the wheels into motion. Before he can set the wheels in motion, sometimes we get to go through something. Sometimes we can't go through point A to point B without going through something. And also, before we can set the wheels into motion, we need to get get out of the past because the past is a past. Like I said just a few minutes ago, past, past, past. We cannot change. The only thing we can change tonight is our future. Hold on to Him tonight. Hold on to His dreams. Hold on to His ambitions for you. You know, don't hold on to titles people put up on you. Because not everybody's going to like you. Not everybody's going to try and encourage you. But be with those that will encourage you. Be with those that will lift you up. Be with those that will tell you when you're going through something that you can make it. Don't be going through with a bunch of downers that says that you'll never make it, that you'll never be nothing. That says you're worthless, that says you're no good. But be with those that will lift you up tonight. Be with those that will encourage you to be the best that you can be. Be with those that will encourage you tonight not to give up and not to quit. But keep on that fire line and keep on serving God regardless of the circumstances. Regardless of what somebody else might say, just keep on going on for the Lord. 
and don't give up tonight and don't quit because God is there and God is ready and willing to open up the windows of heaven for you and pour out His Spirit. God is ready tonight to anoint your head, to anoint your feet, to anoint the way you think, to anoint the way you walk, to anoint the way you talk, to anoint the way you hear. And God's wanting you to bless somebody tonight. God's wanting you tonight to be overcomers of your testimonies that you can reach somebody else along the way. God is ready tonight to give you all that you desire. But you've got to be willing to get out of your comfort zone. You know, so many people tonight in a comfort zone. They're satisfied with how their life is. They're satisfied with how their life is right this very second. But we need to get out of our comfort zone and do things that we might not think is fashionable. But if God's telling us to do it, we need to do it. If God's telling you to preach, you need to preach. If God's telling you to sing, you need to sing. Whatever God's telling you to, you to do tonight, you've got to do it. Obey the Lord in all things, and you shall live long and prosper on this earth. Verse 18, pray always with prayer and supplication in the Spirit. Pray always, never neglect the prayer. And watching thereunto with all perseverance and all supplication for all saints. Have all perseverance tonight. And not give up. When the getting's good, don't give up. And verse 19, And for me, that utterance may be given unto me, that I may open my mouth boldly. We've got to open our mouth boldly tonight. We've got to speak what God tells us to speak. We've got to do what God tells us to do. Speak boldly tonight. 